The final game of uh, this weekend is on Sunday. It's at Twickenham. It's England versus Italy. Lewis, if I were to tell you that the odds are Italy to win in a two-horse race, 40 to 1, a draw, 100 to 1, and England to win, 100 to 1 on. Does that reflect England Six Nations campaign so far and Italy's campaign so far? I think 100 to 1 on is... Uh... You know, is a, is a good a reflection of how poor Italy are. I think actually at the moment, you know, I think Italy came in with some really exciting hope and an enthusiasm about what they'd achieved during the autumn. Um, but as ever, for whatever reason, you know, whether it's the lack of quality, consistency, um, you know, coaches now they they certainly have a quality coaching side in Conor O'Shea and, and Mike Cat and and others, um, there just seems to be a lot of work still required in, in that Italian um, dressing room um, and across probably the Italian game as a whole if, if you really want them to, to start challenging in the Six Nations, you know, a good call for possibly relegation and promotion and, and Georgia who are above them in the world rankings anyway possibly coming in. But Italy, England, there's only one way it's going to go, you know, it's going to be an absolute trouncing for England. and, and those, those odds reflect it and make it quite simple, I think. Having been in the England team for, for, for so many years yourself, how do you approach a game like this? They, they've, they've got two good wins. Probably nobody in the England camp has been fully satisfied in their performances so far. Um, although, you know, two good wins against two good teams is, is, is great going. Would you be full on here? Would you expect nothing else but an 80-minute performance and to be utterly ruthless in the way that they dispatch Italy? Absolutely, ruthless is a great word, you know, something, something you know, Clive always used to say, and I think any Jones expects. Um, at the start of the campaign, he spoke about England being daring. I, I don't think they have been, you know, I think they've, they've played within themselves a little bit, but the guys that have come off the bench for England have brought that, that daring, that, that desire to play, you know, there are guys in the back line who have so much skill and talent at their fingertips, we just want to see it unleashed. Um, and I think we'll see a number of changes coming into this game. Um, and, and Ben Teo, who's been brilliant off the bench, James Haskell, uh, Jamie George, um, Danny Kerr, you know, all these guys will probably get an opportunity to play. And I think rightly so, you know, they, they've been fantastic when they've come off. And, uh, you know, I, I, I look forward to this game because of that, seeing a few other guys get the opportunity to start. And I think that's what this game needs to be about for England. And I guess it's not a case of simply oh, giving the extras, uh, the reserves, a chance. It's about making sure that you've got 30, 35 players who can all be at the same level and do the job, which is what you need, presumably, to win a World Cup. Absolutely. Well, I mean, Eddie Jones will be looking for players to push for their position. You know, I don't think any of those guys on the bench will see them as bench, will see themselves as, uh, as bench players. They will see themselves as starting um, and this is an opportunity for a number of them, I hope, to, to go out and, and assert their claim for that shirt. You know, certainly Ben Teo's performance off the bench, you know, brings something very different, you know, akin to Manu Tuolangi, maybe with a little bit more ball playing ability. Um, so I'm quite excited about that. The other one for me, Jamie George, I just think he's been applying so much pressure over the last two seasons to Dylan Hartley. You know, Dylan's done a wonderful job as, as captain. But I think Jamie is, you know, is the person in the better form at the moment. And it'll be interesting to see if he's given a start, can he translate the performances he's had off the bench into an 18-minute performance? Because if he does, then it will give Eddie Jones a, a real decision to make. And I'm sure one that he'll be uh, quite excited about. Yeah, and Owen Farrell probably will be captain against England. Uh, people have been really impressed by how much he's come on against, as a, against Italy. Thank yeah, you. Um, would have been a good game. England, England against good. England would yeah. be a better game. Um, but Owen Fowles, has been, everybody's been impressed in the way he's come on over the last couple of years in terms of leadership. As you say, Jamie George performs, Owen Fowles performs as, as captain. That's a dilemma, isn't it? Mm. It is, but it's not a dilemma. It's, you know, it's, a good, um, it's a good position to be in for a coach because you've got so many players pushing for position. And I think that is why you become a successful side. That is why you become a great side, is because you have so many players desperate to play pushing each other to perform at the best of their ability, knowing that if you have a poor day at the office, you will not possibly start the next match. 
Um, and I think you know we know how much Eddie Jones respects and admires Owen Farrell for his leadership qualities and the way that he is the man that he is the player that he is. Um, so I think he would be a natural fit. Mara Toji probably being groomed for the for for a future uh, future role. Although those two guys are both very young in their own right. Exactly. Okay. So uh, England are going to trounce Italy, according to Lewis Moody. Um, by how much? Well, I think England will dis be disappointed generally if they don't score more than 50 points. Um, I think they will be more disappointed if they concede um, any tries at all. You know, I think they will have certain targets and, and under Paul Gustard, you know, I know that you know, the defence has been up and down a little bit, but significantly better in the last match. And I think one of their goals will be to, to stop them crossing the, the whitewash, the Italians. OK, so um, hideous afternoon at Twickenham for Italy. Predicted and uh, a very comfortable afternoon for England. That's it for this week. We'll see you in a couple of weeks' time for round four of the Six Nations.